Hey, what up, boys, and welcome to your daily dose of copium, where we look at topics surrounding ashes of creation, but also a dash of parasocialism from our streams live over at twitch.tv forward slash Narkivus. This series wouldn't be possible without my beautiful patrons and coped out the wazoo Twitch subs, so sit back, relax, and grab yourself a... Cuba Cola, because today I have a slightly different video for you talking about how I started enjoying MMORPGs again, broken up into the various topics shown on the screen. Now, with all that bollocks out of the way, let's begin, shall we? A guy telling me how to play the class. <laughs> I'd rather go through the knowledge of understanding it myself and why that's the meta. Oh, it's the meta because of this, this, and this. Oh, I understand that. Okay, and I feel like being able to understand that also gives you a platform to teach other people. And then that plays into the whole social dynamic of an MMORPG in the first place, because you want to teach your guild mates. You know, say you do like a raid or, or you're doing like a, you're grinding, I don't know, the tarot coffin, right? You're grinding the tarot coffin and your mate's constantly dying, right? And you're thinking to yourself, wait a minute, if this guy's constantly dying or getting hit by cleaves, do you think this guy even knows how to play or, or knows how to make a build? And then you talk with the guy and you say like, hey, what's your build? I noticed that you were trying to solo kill that mob and it took you four times longer than it usually takes me. What's your build? And then he'll tell you the build and then I'll be like, oh, that's shit. Do you, want me to, do you want me to show you my build? And I'll teach you how to play it. And then you start talking and then he's like, oh shit, I never considered that. And then you start teaching each other how to play it. Isn't that what an MMO is all about? I feel like that shit's lost. Not nowadays, but why not? But why not nowadays? Because that's how my guild plays. If you want to learn how to play the game, then ask me and we will figure it out together. Right? Because it's just a much more fun experience. Yeah, but you learn from streams in YouTube, yeah, but I just don't think that's fun. I think it's more fun to talk to your guildies in-game. Maybe I'm just old school. But you don't you don't have to subject yourself to metagaming is my point, right? Yeah. You don't have to subject yourself to metagaming. You subject yourself to metagaming, you put, you put yourself in that situation. You don't have to. Nobody's forcing you to do that. I feel like a lot of people, boomers in particular, they don't have a lot of patience. And it's taken a lot of effort to teach a few of my guild members Members who've never played MMOs before, it's taken a lot of effort, time, and energy to teach them the core mechanics of how an MMO works. However, it's been a very satisfying experience because now I feel like I have taught these people the fundamentals that allow them to learn themselves and it gives them a platform to understand why mechanics exist and what they're supposed to do in a scenario where they're dealing with raid mechanics on the fly, right? So now what we do is now, instead of looking at guides on how to beat this boss, instead we wipe to the boss. We pull the boss and we we read his abilities as he uses them. We watch the environment as it plays out. We figure out what's going on with the fight as we wipe again and again and again and again. And we're learning together. We're, we're stopping before we pull and we're talking to each other and we're thinking, okay, so this time when the beam is... Because a very common thing about uh, raids and raid bosses is it's very common to encounter a mechanic that feels impossible to deal with the first time it hits you. And because it feels impossible to deal with, it's a very natural response in today's age, at least, uh, and even back in the day, I suppose. Uh, instead of wiping again and again uh, to try and figure out what you're doing wrong, it's very easy to go look up a guide. So there was a guy in our guild the other day. Basically, we were wiping to a mechanic and the mechanic felt impossible to deal with. And we didn't understand what it was doing. We didn't understand why it was proccing that way, why it was doing so much damage. He looked up a guide to see what was doing and then he said, I know what we're doing wrong. Do you want me to tell you? And I was thinking to myself, why have you done that? Why have you gone to look at a guide and spoiled the progression? Because now one of us knows what we're doing wrong and the other nine of us are trying to brute force this mechanic to understand it. But one of the people, one of the guys know what we're doing wrong. And, and so now his time is wasted because he already knows that we're doing it wrong. But now he's not participating in the natural progression of understanding what we're doing wrong. And now it's no longer about a guild. It's now about nine. It's no longer about the 10 people in the guild. It's now about the, the nine people in the guild we've lost somebody because he looked up a guide and i uh, you know is that a weird way to is that i don't think that's weird i think that's how games should be played especially mmos tldr is what's the rush that's just how i feel the last time i looked at a guide for a game legion was the last time i looked up a guide my guild said 
come to the raid prepared watch the guides if you don't watch the guides you're not coming to the raids and i thought to myself this isn't our you know i don't really enjoy this right so now we, what we're doing is instead of we're instead of progressing the boss we all already know what the boss is going to do and we're already pre-casting we're already pre-potting we don't even pull the boss for a test we already know what the boss does in the first phase uh, we already know that the boss has six phases we already know that the boss will enrage at eight minutes so we need to meet the eight minute dps mark and when we are you know 40 percent down on the boss and we've only got one minute left instead of continuing to push to learn mechanics we just wipe it deliberately because we know that we're not going to make the enrage timer and that's just trash am i a top passer yes yes i always push to be the best dps or the best healer i never really played a tank i'm not really a t i don't really like tanks i i'm usually a dps or a healer and i always push to be the best in in my raid yes but i like the competition aspect of a raid but the thing is i never participated in these passes right this these this is a modern to call it a pass is a very modern thing it wasn't about passes back in my day it was about just competing with your fellow guild members and being the best dps in your guild passes were not a thing when i played i just don't care because when you're so focused on a pass you then comp what you do is you compromise your teamwork to push yourself that further and i feel like that's very anti-social i feel like that's very anti-teamwork because now you're no longer competing with your friends you're now competing with the sweatiest people that exist and uh, you don't even know who these people are you're never going to meet these people they're just another statistic on a on a list don't you think that's just a bit anti-social and a bit weird again where's the rush right there's no rush why can't you just learn the the boss why can't you just why can't we learn the boss together uh, yeah i don't know Sometimes I do feel a bit like, what's happened? Where do, where do we go wrong? You know what cracks me up, right? For the last 10 years, there's this very loud minority of people who constantly go on about MMOs have too many spells. But the thing is, for the last 10 years, MMORPGs that have released have only ever had a small amount of spells. So I feel like the people that project that too many spells argument onto Ashes of Creation, they still use the argument of all MMOs have too many spells, when in reality, we haven't had an MMORPG release that's had a lot of spells in the last 10 years, have we? They've all had less than eight spells. In my opinion, it's trash. A limited action set, right? That's what they call it, a limited action set. And I think to myself, it's just shit. I don't think 30 is too much, right? Because you, you gotta remember is that these 30 abilities that you're gonna have, they're not necessarily gonna be abilities that you're pressing on cooldown. These are gonna be niche abilities that you use in niche situations that allow you to do niche utility that could or might not even help and i like that i like utility i like being able to do things right so uh, originally i started off as a hunter i was the classic hunted night elf hunter so i grew up playing mmos like my first mmo experience for a very very long time was actively using the hunter kit and the hunter kit had a fuck ton of spells some of them were literally borderline worthless but they did have a, some value and i like that even if they're like flavor I like that. I think that's fun. Like, um, Eyes of the Beast, for example, it's a borderline useless spell in 99% of the game. But it's cool to cast Eyes of the Beast and then control your cat. I don't think that's ability bloat. I think that's a cool utility that can be used in niche scenarios. I think 30 active on your bar is a bit too much. More like 5 to 10. Having the ability to choose a spec to 30 is too much. Ah, fucking archives. <laughs> Again, you're not going to be actively pressing those 30 abilities. You're not actively pressing those. Your rotation is ideally, <laughs> ideally you want your rotation to be about four to five abilities that make big impact and have a nice tight rotation and do extremely good synergized DPS. And it's burst or sustain. And you either want to build for either of those. You want to burst, you want to build for burst or you want to build for sustain. And if you're building for both, you're probably doing it wrong, right? Because if you're building for both, you're watering down the potential of either so ultimately your rotation is only ever gonna be four to five abilities and uh, you know if and if you're if you're trying to piano around 12 abilities that's your active rotation then you've got to think to yourself how long does it take for the first ability to come back off cooldown before you press the final ability these are important parts and important aspects of making a build in an mmorpg and it's half the fun in my opinion figuring that shit out for yourself that's why i don't like guides i think guides are uh, Cringe.
But as usual, I am just one nerd, desperate for a good MMO, and that's all the discussion I have for you today. Make sure you tune into the stream over at twitch.tv forward slash narcoverse, as the topics from these videos tend to come organically through links from our power social freaks in chat, because they're high on copium.